Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you about six things that you should not do in an automatic transmission car. In this video, I'll be going over six specific things that you should avoid at all costs. Now let's get right to it. The first thing that you should not do in an automatic transmission car is shift from reverse to drive or drive to reverse while you're still moving. Now I've seen it happen so many times and I even did this for many years before I knew how bad it was for the transmission. I would simply reverse out of the driveway and instead of coming to a complete stop, I'd throw the gear shifter into drive and accelerate forward. It's just not a good idea because it causes a significant amount of unnecessary wear and tear on the automatic transmission and the various components of the transmission. And transmissions are simply very expensive to replace. So you should avoid doing that by making sure that you come to a complete stop before you shift from reverse to drive or drive to reverse. Now the second thing that you should not do in an automatic transmission car is put it in park before you've come to a complete stop. Now some people will drive and they'll slow down and instead of coming to a complete stop they'll just throw the gear selector into park and the car will lunge forward and come to a complete stop. It's really really bad for the various components of the parking mechanism and the transmission. You should simply should not do it in an automatic car, okay? So come to a complete stop and then put the gear selector in park. That's how you avoid doing that, okay? The third thing that you should not do in an automatic car is rev it and then put it into drive, okay? Now, when I was younger, this was called a neutral drop. I don't know if that's still what people call it, but we used to call it a neutral drop where you would rev it in neutral and then throw it in drive and you would lunge forward, you'd accelerate really quickly. It's actually horrible for the transmission so don't do that make sure that you're not revving the engine whenever you're shifting from neutral into drive okay make sure you're not revving at all and on top of that make sure that your foot is on the brake whenever you're shifting from neutral to drive so that you actually have control over the car the fourth thing that you should not do in an automatic car is coast downhill in neutral I've seen many people do this, and I even did this myself for a while before I knew what I was doing to the transmission. I did it in an attempt to save myself some gas, okay? So you'd put it in neutral, and you would assume that no, you're not using any extra gas. It's a neutral instead of drive, so you're not wa wasting any extra gas, and the coasting downhill, the downhill slope, is allowing you to maintain speed and pick up speed. Now, every time you shift your car from neutral into drive or drive into neutral you're causing the tiniest amount of wear and tear on the transmission so if you're doing this with all of the hills that you encounter then you're gonna cause a lot of extra wear and tear on the transmission and the various components of it now most modern cars are actually equipped with a feature that cuts out the gas when it's not needed so if you're coasting downhill a lot of modern cars will actually cut out the gas anyways and will not cause any wear and tear on the transmission so just simply do not coast to neutral you might save yourself a couple of pennies in gas but a brand new transmission or a transmission replacement costs a lot of money so just trust me it's just not worth it the fifth thing that you should not do in an automatic car is put it in neutral at a red light right now I'm stopped at a red light some people put it in neutral once again in an attempt to save some gas and they might even take their foot off of the brake pedal which is not a good idea they might pull the parking brake and take their foot off of the brake pedal and put it in neutral to save some gas and prevent the car from moving anywhere now you might save yourself like I said before a couple of pennies in gas a couple of cents in gas but at the end of the day you're causing extra wear and tear on the transmission which is not good the sixth thing that you should not do in an automatic car relates to the fifth thing and also the fourth thing and that's put it in park at a red light so sometimes people will be stopped at a red light excuse me and they'll shift it into park because they don't want to keep the foot on the brake and what that does is that causes your car to shift from drive to neutral to reverse to park and then when you're ready to move again park to reverse to neutral to drive all of those extra little amounts of wear and tear of shifting on the transmission uh, just to you know prevent yourself from keeping your foot on the brake pedal it's just not worth it it's just simply not worth it just keep your foot on the brake pedal at a red light think about that every red light that you're at if you shift into park at every red light that you're at you're causing a lot of extra wear and tear on the transmission for basically nothing 
And that's basically it. In this video, I've gone over six things that you should not do in an automatic transmission car. You should be avoiding these as much as possible. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.